So this project started about two years ago when I got the idea to build an RC glider that was similar to the NASA M2F1 or the space shuttle, in a sense that it used its body surface area to get lift, not just its wings. Both these planes just kind of fall through the air rather than glide. The X24B is another good example. This is my first attempt. Contained in the fuselage was a Mobius 5.8 GHz FPV system and an FY30A flight stabilizer. Here we have the twin cargo plane. Uh, flipped upside down with the little drop shuttle on the bottom. Um, it's all connected and ready to go. We've got uh, FPV goggles that I'll be using to fly the little shuttle down. And then uh, Lawson here will be controlling the, the big twin while I'm flying the shuttle down. This model failed because the fuselage was too big and bulky for its size, and it was a little tail heavy. Most of the time it would just get stuck in a tumble. This is version 2. It's a little bigger and the CG is further forward. Unfortunately, it got stuck in a vertical spin on its first flight and crashed. Lawson went to go get it. Something's wrong. Look at it. Uh oh. <laughs> yeah, I'd say it's a little broken. Wow, I'm surprised it's not more damaged though it's not that bad really yeah so it hit the road going probably 100 miles an hour this is version 3. it is bigger yet and has a smaller fuselage this is the first one i was actually able to control however the controls were very touchy so i had to dial them down quite a bit also, the gyro gains needed lots of tuning. Right here I lost control and crashed. At one point I tried dropping this little plane, but I think the airfoil was way too thick and it did not fly very well at all. This is the fourth and final version of the shuttle. I built it really large so that I could gradually trim down the wings to eventually achieve a lifting body effect. Also, the wings had a bit of dihedral to them. It flew pretty well, but it still was really difficult to control. Here I stalled it and hit a tree. Mm. 
After this fight here, I started slowly trimming down the wings. This is before the first cut, and here's a picture of after. On these flights, I tried to generally stick with the same flight pattern and land into the wind. The wind was probably 10 miles per hour, which was pretty strong for such a small plane. As you can see, it had a pretty nice glide slope. Here's a photo taken after the second cut. The glide slope definitely appears to be a little steeper. Here's the third cut. At this point I was having to give it a lot more up elevator. The glide slope is pretty steep relative to the near flat attitude of the aircraft. After this last cut, it started getting much more difficult to control. As I neared the ground, I was able to pull off my goggles and fly line of sight. I'm really bummed I didn't get any ground video of it gliding into land because it looked really cool. It was definitely more of a controlled fall rather than a glide. I think this concept would work much better on a larger scale. Such small planes are already pretty inherently unstable, so it would be cool to try a larger lifting body type model with lots of ballast to see if it could pick up lots of speed in a steep dive, and then do a high speed flare with a smooth landing, similar to the space shuttle. If anyone out there ever attempts something like this, let me know because I would love to see it. Thanks for watching, bye.